Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries on a glorious sunny Sunday morning in summer in England. It doesn't get much finer than this. So we're up with the lark and I finally decided to pull my finger out and have a go at making the spacers for the rear wheel of the chop. So each side of the wheel needs a spacer so that the sprocket can be bolted to the wheel hub and there'll be two spacers, one each side, a slightly different thicknesses because there's a minor offset with the chain and it's a good opportunity opportunity to line everything up so um, I'm using the walkout I really want to get to grips with this machine because it's relatively new addition uh, and it's in such good condition there's virtually no backlash in any of the screws it's had hardly any use as you can see I've managed to make quite a bit of man glitter I've just put a 1.1 inch drill down through the center having faced off uh, and um, centered this in the forejaw I finished making the chuck key for the forejaw with a file that was a bit of a a laborious job uh, and things are pretty good so things that i'm considering when i'm using this machine is that first of all anything i need i need to walk over there to fetch so when i need the chuck to go in here i have to walk over to there to fetch it because that little corner is all set up for the uh, Myford and everything I need is there the shims for packing up the tools all that kind of stuff the oil can the paraffin everything is over there and all I've got over here really is this handy tool rest which is uh, equally good for a glass of wine or beer when it's the right time of day and the uh, face plate and three drawer chuck in these drawers so I probably need something on the wall here I might take away this grinder because it's a diamond grinder I don't use it very much with a very soft wheel at this end and I've some kind of cabinet so I can have a selection of cutting tools uh, and whatnot specifically for this machine. I'm also getting quite a bit of man glitter onto the garage floor around this side of it which I don't particularly enjoy um, so it, it's really about what to do about that. Now there is on the back of the Myford there is a catch kind of deflector for man glitter which i don't need it came with the lathe and it was a shame to throw it away so i used it but that lathe could go back another couple of inches towards the back of the garage where it originally was and then that would liberate that stand that would probably go on the back here the only trouble with doing that is that the suds feed which currently doesn't work but i intend to fix would interfere with that so i probably need to move this pipe round so um, it's running parallel to the lathe bed and then that would fix that problem. Not, not a great problem to, to have to solve. Or the final uh, debate would be, do I move on the Myford? It's a super lathe. It's got all the attachments, collet chucks. It's probably worth a reasonable amount uh, on, on the second hand market and then relocate the Warco over to there. That's not the preferred option because it's great, it's useful, and if I've got something set up on here like this and I just wanted to do a quick job, um, I wouldn't really want to take this off and have to dial it back in. I mean, it can be done, it just adds time. Uh, and time is uh, every person's enemy, isn't it? Every man's enemy. So that's what we're up to at the moment. We're making a couple of wheel spaces for the chop um, and just getting back into the swing of it. But it's great to be up early. It's great to have a bit of sunshine. I do like the fact that we buy the door here and there's a lot of natural light that comes in. So it's quite easy to see what you're doing on this machine. And of course, when you glance up, you get to see the other bikes in the garage. The Blackbird is sold. The guy's collecting it today, so a good friend of mine. Um, so, so that will be gone to make space for something else. Uh, quite what else, I'm not sure at the moment. So there we go. That's what's going on at um, Club Hercules, Project Hercules. Um, more updates will follow when I've got something to show you. Uh, but uh, just getting back into the swing of it today. As usual, thanks for watching. More updates will follow.